Hey everybody, Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and in this video, we're going to take the files that we've made in a previous video for print on demand, and we're going to load them up to Printful. Now, if you don't have a Printful account, you can get an account through the link in the description. And of course, if you haven't seen our print on demand series, I will also link to that entire series. This follows up after we've designed all of the, the artwork and we've created all the files related to Printful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up all of the files at once. And this may not be the best way to do it for you personally, but for me, it's a little bit easier because I can, I don't have to worry about finding one at a time when I'm creating the designs. So the first thing I want to do, and you can see, I've got some folders here and I just loaded some up, but I can, I'm going to say create new folder. Okay. And then I'm going to name the folder. Um, I believe the design we're going to be doing is I called it pink lightning. So I'm going to call it pink lightning designs. I'm going to say create. Now you can, you could see there that it gave me the option to, you know, put an icon here that just defaulted to the folder. If you want to change it to something else, you can see. So it's something fun, but you don't necessarily have to either. So then I can click into the folder and inside the folder, you can create more folders if you want to, but for our purposes, I don't think we need to. So I'm going to click upload and you can see I've got a bunch of them here. So I'm going to narrow it down to just that design pink lightning and now I'm going to just go ahead and click the first one and I'm going to go wait for it to load shift and left click and that highlights all of them I'm going to say open now from here it's a waiting game so I'm actually going to pause it while it loads up and you can see it's already not doing anything yet it's thinking it's going to be making that connection and it'll eventually start uploading so I'm going to pause it and then come back when it is loaded Okay, so I'm back and I was super impatient and messed up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so the moral of that story is make sure you don't be impatient or you aren't impatient, whatever, and just wait, just hold. I mean, you may want to just, once you hit that upload button or once you hit enter for loading, just walk away for a while because it took a while and I was impatient and I tried to do it a second time and then it made it get all confused. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to move the files while I'm waiting and then it messed up the whole thing. So just be patient. All right. So now that we've got these loaded, I'm going to come into product templates. Now, the reason why I'm going into product templates is because I'm going to have multiple stores. So because I have multiple stores, I'm going to be attaching to our merchant marketplace. I'm going to have a groove cart store, right? As my own store. And then I'm going to have, um, I'll, I'll be probably attached to Etsy and wherever else. Right? So when you come into stores, and this is where you'll see I have a groove cart one. Um, this is an Etsy one. That's, I'm not going to be using that, but there's the one there. So you would add as many stores as you want there, but each store needs to be connected separately. So if I go into product templates, I can create a product template and then I can add it to the store. So let's create a product. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to click here and I'm going to actually look for tote. And maybe I won't if it's not going to search bags. We've got tote bags right here. So I'm looking for the all over print tote. I believe this is it. And let's just see the print guidelines 17 by 33. So that's the one I was looking for. Okay. So now I'm going to design. Well, I'm going to, yeah, I can go to design. I'm going to say choose file because remember we created these files in advance and I can click on the folder. So I'm going to do the pink lightning one since we just loaded that one. And I'm, I didn't name it tote, right? But I named it by the sizes. So I know that if I put in 17 and I could actually just narrow it down by that folder only. And then of course, depending on your internet connection, this could go faster or slower. So 17 by 33, you can see that's why I labeled them this way, right? So we've talked about this in our, in our prep on how we name these. So I'm going to select this and it uploaded it for me at 17 by 33. So let me see the mock-up view for a second. Do, do, do. Again, a lot of this stuff is just, you have to wait for it to load. This is part of what takes so long. So you can see that it's there. Um, yeah. You, there's video tutorials here, by the way, too. A lot of this has changed since I did it last. So keep, they keep updating. That's good news. So I'm going to say continue and I'm going to name this. So this is a pink lightning tote bag. 
and you can call yours whatever you want, obviously, if you want to get creative. And then it says add sizes. And so they only have a 15 by 15, but we're going to leave that there. And then I'm going to save the product template. And there it is, right? So it's pretty simple. And now that I've got everything loaded, right, I've got all those designs loaded, it makes it a lot easier. So I don't have to sit there and search for each individual file and load it up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to say add to store. And then it's, it says details for your store and it's going to walk you through, of course, adding it to the store. So proceed to mock-ups and you can choose the mock-ups you want. And of course we've done this in a different one. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about this right now. So we're just going to go to proceed to details, proceed to pricing. This is where you would set your pricing, right? I'm just going to leave it where it is right now because I'm not really too worried about it. And then adding new product to store. That's great. Where are you heading? Let's go to stores. It's got to be adding it here. It had to be adding it here because there's no other. Yep, there it is. Because I don't have any other stores active. So more than likely at some point, if you have more than one store, it's going to make you choose between them or it'll add them to all. So we'll have to test that out and see how it goes. But for now, what's important to know is that you can, oh, look, see, this is kind of cool. They let you apply it. The one thing I will warn, and I think I warned this in another video as well, is that if you take this size and apply it to these other designs, it will stretch it out, not make it similar. So if you want to have a design that is similar across products, you need to create the files yourself, right? Like we did in our previous videos. So that's what we're doing here. So now let's head over to Groovecart. Okay. So here I am in Groovecart and I want to connect my Printful store to Groovecart. Okay. So I created the Groovecart store in Printful, and then I also generated the API, which I'll go back and show you in just a second. But here I am, and obviously I've done a lot of setup already. So now I'm going to come into products and I'm going to go into print on demand and drop shipping. And then I'm going to see Printful, click learn more. And I've turned this on already. So you would toggle that on, wait a second. And then the settings button comes up, right? You can hit the settings wheel and wait because it seems to be the moral of the story here and then you can you need to put in the api key from printful here now so in printful let's pull that up in printful we're going to go into our stores and i we've created this one so we're going to say view store and then when we are in here wait a second go into settings and then you'll see that it says over here on the left side, it has stores. And I don't think they have the API in the side. Nope. You have to click on API. And then here you may need to generate the API if you haven't already done that, but you would just copy it and then paste it over into that place. Okay. So that is what we do for, to get it connected. And once you hit save, it's connected. Then you can go into product search and you can search for the products. Okay. So I'm going to put in pink in this case in search. And this is, look, that's the product we just pushed over, right? So I'm going to say, add to my store. Doo, doo, doo. And now I can, I can fix it, right? I can add more stuff that I want to. Now, the reason why this is important, like you could probably do a lot more in Printful, but the reason why this is important is because each of your platforms is going to vary based on the information that's provided. Now, product description, I'm kind of surprised. It didn't pull over more for that, but we'll have to play with that and see what's going on. But the product description, you want to make sure they have, they know what it's made of and everything else. So that way there's not somebody going, I thought this was made out of cotton. And it's like, mm, really leggings out of cotton. Are you sure? So not a lot of them are right now because they're not very stretchy when they're that way. So anyway, you want to make sure you can put your description and everything. You can double check your pricing and you can put it in a specific collection. Now I haven't made any collections. I haven't done a lot of stuff, but this is how you get it onto the page. And then you would say add product. So let's go ahead and do that. This is just really slow today. It's every time I record, it does this. So it's probably the computer bogging down. So now if I go into products and I go into my products, I will see the pre-made products from Groove, which I can just delete and I will see mine as well. Right? So I can come in here and say, I don't want any of these because these are not mine, but I can delete those. Yep. I'm still deleting. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit close and that should now refresh. So, huh, that's funny. 
So this is this is exactly what what you have right here, right? And so let's go ahead and click into it. And again, this is where you can come in. You can do your descriptions. You can do your SEO. You can do your advanced settings, all right? So that is, let's preview the product. I know I haven't done anything, but we can preview the product. And unfortunately, it just takes some time for each of these. There's not a, a really big way. Um, that was actually part of included in there is that cart, which is, if you were on Shopify, it would cost you like 20 bucks a month or more. I don't know. I can't remember. So you're pre previewing this and it shows you the price and it says the sizes here. And then of course they have all this stuff on here that I haven't had time to adjust, but it's built in already. So you can go in, you can tweak things, you can add things, etc. I recommend if once you get to the stage, you walk through the demo or the, you know, the how to from Groove itself, but I wanted to show you how easy it was to get your products onto your free Groove page. Okay. So that's it for this video. If you have questions, you know, leave them in the comments, hop into the Facebook group, whatever. And of, of course, this is just one of our print on demand trainings. So if you're like, Hey, I like this print on demand idea, then hop into the whole print on demand training again, right now, it's just going to link over to the, um, we're going to plug it into the playlist, but eventually we'll, we'll have a members area that walks you through anything and everything you can, you can know about print on demand. So all right, that's it for this one. I appreciate you listening and I will see you guys in the next one.